Val pointed this book out to me today, Feeding the Family. I found it quite interesting. Here is the first paragraph. Sounds a lot like something we would hear today, doesn't it? Same concerns about our health and our children's health. Same thing about stress. And what I found particularly interesting about this was the year it was written. It was written in 1916. So here is the full page for those who might want to enlarge it and read it. Hey everyone, I just want to finish up by just adding a few comments here. You know, I, I find it fascinating that in 1916 they had the exact same concerns that we do today. I think their food was better because it wasn't as processed as it is today. They're processing all the nutrients out of the food and they're doing it because the shelf life is so much longer and costs longer shelf life, more profit because they don't have to pull it from the shelves. So again, it's money over people and people's health. So, I mean, our, our liquids are all pasteurized. I mean, there's zero life left in our food today, which back then, even though it was cooked food, it did have some things in it that we just do not get today. There's no minerals, no, maybe a little. Uh, there's no enzymes, they've all been killed. Uh, the electromagnetic energy of that food is is non-existent. So we have to go to live food to get that nutrient hydration. That's the other thing. There is zero hydration in the whole center of the supermarket. All the live food is around the outside of the supermarket. All the dead food all the industrialized sugars and flours and all this stuff is in the center of the store. So if you shop around the outside, at least you'll have somewhat of a chance to get a healthy meal. So I, I just wanted to finish up by saying that uh, the concerns are exactly the same. But here we are almost a hundred years later. And who knows, in 100 years, we'll probably be saying the same thing. So be careful. Pay attention to what you're buying. Get live, whole, ripe, raw, organic, if you can. Fruits, berries, melons, and salads, veggies. Um, get, drink green smoothies, especially if you find that your body's in trouble then juices and smoothies, water. Once you get your body mineralized, start drinking just plain old water. You can put lemon in it if you want to. That will help to mineralize it some. And you'll find that your health and your body will change drastically. Most people are dehydrated. And they're under mineralized. There's very little enzyme activity in the digestive system which is extremely important and you need that live energy that's in that food. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.